Uh, you know who was going last night were uh, Texas Tech fans in, in that game. What an atmosphere, Dan. Uh, the night before the game, giving the, the, the middle finger salute to Chris Beard and his <laughs> return, the atmosphere in that arena, best I've seen all year in college basketball. And I think college sports could use a nice dose of this more often. Actual hatred for another coach yeah. or another school. It was great to watch last night. I could not agree more. You know, one of the things we, I think, has been screwed up in college basketball is neutral site games. Um, you know, conference season, you play at home. Like, Indiana, Kentucky, Kentucky fans, well, they don't need Indiana. Okay, fine. But it's a great rivalry. When Indiana goes to Rupp Arena, there's yelling, there's screaming. When Indiana came, or when Kentucky came to IU, it's yelling and screaming. We need way more of that in college basketball. I feel like this, fellas. I feel like football, you get that every week. I do. And I know it's one game a week and all that, but you get that every week. I don't feel like you get that enough in college hoops. And, you know, I remember, I, I think I've told you this story. I picked up 75 cents off the court when I was playing at Indiana from Purdue fans. I, I got four fouls in the first half and I was coming off and they're throwing things at me. And I picked up 75 and I told Steve Alford, my team, I go, I just made some money here tonight. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I like it. I do. I, I thought it was great. Hey, and good for Texas Tech, man. They got the win against a, a – you know, I don't think Chris Beard's got his program where he wants it, but Texas Tech sure does. It was good. It was really good. Let's stick with the hate theme in college sports. Uh, I find myself actively rooting against Will Wade uh, and LSU for, for, a, oh, yeah. for, for a number of reasons, and he probably likes it that way because he likes to be the villain – um, is there a coach, maybe it's Will Wade, uh, in college basketball? Because now that you're back on Twitter, Dan, I feel like I know most of your feuds, even if it's some strength coach at Penn State or whoever you were going after recently. Uh, is there a coach that you truly actively root against currently coaching in college basketball? Yeah, and this is bad of me because Calvin Sampson hired me in 2000. And seven, and I worked for him for a year, and I know what he was about. I didn't know what he was about when I went there. Uh, and I saw what he did to the Indiana basketball program, program that's part of my soul. So I don't know that I actively root against him, um, but I'm not, I'm not afraid to say on Twitter, like, hey, look, or here, that there's no way that guy's a Hall of Famer. I mean, he, he put two schools on probation. He cheated. And, a lot of us that didn't cheat get affected by those that did cheat. So the truth of the matter is I'm not overly enthused about him. He, I to, I coached at uh, Bowling Green. Toledo was our rival. I, to this day, I don't want to see Toledo or Purdue be uber successful, although I must say I do like Matt Painter a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's, if there's any other coaches. Like I get into personal slights. Like if somebody fired a friend of mine, uh, if somebody acted and cheated, Will Wade is certainly on that list. Samson's on that list. I don't have a lot of respect for those guys. 